In this question, we have a ruler of length L, which is given a sharp tap at one end, so force F is applied for some amount of time. Consequently, the centre of mass of the ruler moves away with the velocity V, and it rotates about its centre of mass with an angular speed, omega, which we can easily find from the period we are given. The key thing to do here is to consider the linear motion and the angular motion about the centre of mass separately. Let's first consider the linear motion. Newton's second law is f is equal to dp dt. This should really be a vector equation, but since all the linear motion is in one direction, I'm going to omit the vector notation. From this equation, we find that the impulse, or the change in the linear momentum, is equal to the integral of f dt. We can now move on to considering the angular motion about the centre of mass. The rotational equivalent of Newton's second law is that the torque tau is equal to dl dt, or the rate of change of angular momentum. Since the ruler is tapped at one end, there is a torque about the centre of mass. The force F is applied at a distance L over 2 away from the centre of mass, and the torque is therefore related to F by tau equals F times L over 2. In the same way that we found the impulse, we can use the angular equivalent of Newton's second law to write that the change in angular momentum, delta L, is equal to L over 2 times the integral of F dt. From here, just remember that the moment of inertia of a rod about its centre of mass is 1 12th ml squared, where m is the mass of the rod, and we have all the pieces that we need to be able to solve the problem.